Hey friends, today we're dropping a real bombshell of a story. And I mean that literally, it's about an actual powerful bomb. What if I told you Iran may have gotten its hands on one? Stick with me because this is a wild ride you won't believe. Not long ago, Israel launched a strike on a neighborhood in Beirut. They used some of the most advanced bombs in their arsenal. Precision weapons designed in the US, meant for pinpoint destruction. But one of those bombs didn't explode, it just sat there. Hezbollah got to the site fast, really fast. They found the bomb intact, unexploded, just lying there. Not only did they secure it, they reportedly studied it, and then, according to some sources, sent the parts to Iran. Now, what does that mean? Reverse engineering, maybe? Could Iran actually unlock secrets of one of America's best bombs? The US is spooked, and honestly, for good reason. Their reactions show just how serious this whole thing is. The bomb's name is GBU-39B, or the Smart Bomb. It's designed for high-precision strikes with minimal collateral damage. Lightweight, compact, but packed with power and tech. It can glide toward targets from a long, safe distance. The pilot just releases it, the bomb does the rest. Using GPS and inertial guidance, it hits right on target. It's about 1.8 meters long, weighs around 110 kilos, and its warhead is strong enough to punch through bunkers. Now imagine a bomb like that falling into Iranian hands. Not theoretically, but a real-life intact specimen. All engineers need is a close look under the hood. And boom, a treasure trove of sensitive information. The US and Israel both know how advanced this is. It's not just about destruction, it's about electronic resistance. Encrypted GPS, anti-jamming capabilities, stealth materials. Even tricking it with electronic warfare isn't that easy. So what happens if Iran reverse engineers this system? They could drastically boost accuracy in their missiles, or build defense systems to detect and neutralize these bombs. That's exactly what Washington is terrified of. Reports say the Pentagon has labeled the situation sensitive. Some news outlets say the US demanded the bomb back, but Lebanon hasn't handed it over. Hezbollah's staying quiet. This is turning into a full-blown intelligence standoff. Now, let's talk about the GBU-39 specs a bit more. Each fighter jet can carry four of these per standard mount. Because it's so light, it's incredibly practical in real combat, and it costs about $40,000 to $50,000 per bomb. It has a range of over 100 kilometers. That's serious. The aircraft doesn't even need to enter enemy airspace and the precision, less than one meter margin of error, perfect for dense cities or surgical military operations. Its body is made with stealthy radar-resistant materials. Guidance systems are hardened against jamming and spoofing. It's an all-weather weapon, night, storm, rain, you name it. No wonder so many countries are lining up to buy. Israel was among the first to get its hands on it. They nicknamed it Sharp Hail and used it plenty. It's been deployed in Gaza, Syria, and now Beirut. But one failed to detonate, and that changes everything. If that bomb really made it to Tehran, then wow, that's a direct peek inside Western military engineering. A real-world sample, not some black market blueprint. It's like hitting the jackpot for any reverse engineer. Circuit boards, flight controls, fuses, sensors, all exposed. They can study every detail and recreate key systems. From drones to guided missiles, the impact is huge. It's a shortcut in research that normally takes years. Iran has been advancing in precision arms for a while. Now imagine them replicating a top-tier smart bomb. Higher accuracy, better targeting, lower error margins. Plus, the ability to break through hardened bunkers. Oh, and there's another bomb in this story the GBU-57. That one's a beast, over 13 tons of steel and explosives, a bunker buster that can penetrate 60 meters of concrete. Some say Iran got a piece of that, too, during a strike. 
During a reported U.S. attack on Iran's nuclear facilities, one GBU-57 apparently didn't explode and was recovered. If that's true, it's an even bigger tech gold mine. This is one of America's most powerful non-nuclear weapons. Iran claims they've built a lighter version of that warhead. It's being tested on missiles like Kaibar or Fatah. Early results show it can pierce 20 meters of reinforced concrete. Not as deep as GBU-57, but still impressive. What does all this tell us? The game has changed. It's not just about rockets, it's about smart tech now. Iran is clearly chasing its own precision-guided systems, and that could tip the military balance in the region. The U.S. wants none of that because it's a real threat. These weapons aren't test powerful, they symbolize trust. When a U.S. bomb lands in enemy hands, it's bad optics. It means your tech might be turned against you someday. That's why Washington is pressuring the Lebanese government. They want the bomb returned, but nobody's cooperating yet. Hezbollah might be holding onto it as a bargaining chip, or maybe it's already in Tehran, who knows? All right, folks, if you've stuck with me this far, thank you. If you found this fascinating, give it a like and sub. Drop your thoughts, questions, or theories in the comments. And don't miss our next video, it's just as explosive. A failed bomb has now sparked a whole new battle, not on the ground, but over information and tech. If Iran really got the secrets inside that warhead, it could reshape power dynamics in the entire region.